What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo, and I am back for another episode review of Catfish. Did you miss me? I know you did, because I missed y'all too, but I'm back, and I got a good one for you. So, as you remember, I said I'm going back, and I'm going to do a review on some of the Catfish episodes that I didn't review before I had, you know, my YouTube channel or whatever. Some of these episodes I loved, and um, they were a trip, and so I figured if I enjoyed them, that you all would enjoy them too. Um, the one that we're doing today is going to be Devin and James. But before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down. And then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. So let me tell y'all, <laughs> this one was a good one, okay? For me to have had a little break, I know some of y'all really love my catfish review. So let me tell you, auntie got a good one for you today because you already know if i'm gonna take a break like this from catfish i'm not gonna come back with some week i will come back with something on point okay so hopefully y'all got y'all drinks together i hope y'all are ready for the review because i'm ready to give it to you so let's get right on up into it all right y'all so neve's co-host this episode is rashad jennings oh Boing ass. He's a former NFL running back for the New York Giants, and he won Dancing with the Stars. And he did it in a goo. He looked good. Anyways, so we have Devin, 27 years old. He's from Phoenix. He's been talking to James, 23 years old, from Cali. Now, they met on one of them little dating hookup apps. You know how it is. It was probably both feeling a little itch and so I am saying. So they met on this little dating app. They quickly exchanged phone numbers, and they've been talking ever since, all day, every day. Now look here, you know I have to tell you, look out for them damn red flags. Flag number one, you don't talk on the phone. Flag number two, you can't video chat. That ain't them you talking to. Why do we even still go through this? I wish I had y'all's kind of faith. The way you, you, you got all these red flags, but you just gonna hold on to the faith of a mustard seed that, yeah, this is going to be who it really is. Why do y'all do, you know why? Y'all do it so I can enjoy it and I can review it. That's exactly why y'all do it. Now, aside from him not wanting to video chat and talk on the phone, this is the thing. He asked to meet up with him if he'll come to where he is. That's what that's that's a red flag number three right there. He won't talk on the phone, he won't video chat, but he wants you to come to his state where he is to meet up with him. Now Devin ain't all the way out out, right? Devin is out to his family. His family knows, you know, and he's not really out to the world. So he's not really comfortable going out of state to meet a complete stranger that won't talk to him on the phone and won't video chat with him. So he's like, you know what? Um, I'm going to have to put a hold, hard stop on that until, you know, we really figure out what this thing is. Now, Devin says that James said he used to live in Michigan he actually went to the high school, the same high school, and he lived right around the corner from him. But Devin has no clue who he is whatsoever. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, they have exchanged pictures to one another. They've exchanged facial pictures to one another, and they've exchanged penile pictures and videos. Videos. To one another. Devin has sent him videos. James has sent him videos of him doing various things to himself. But it's all been of his private area. It's never been in his face. Every once in a while, it's been in his face. Like some, some may write in the Kool-Aid. Again, he looked like a really intelligent man. Like, and then on top of that, Devin is going to school to be a criminal investigator. And you can see that something was fishy with this shit. Now, recently, Devin said that he went on Instagram and he was just scrolling through Instagram. He just so happened to look through his friends to see that another profile is up that has James' picture on there. A profile he didn't even know he was following. Now, it's the same picture, different names. Well, different, um, I think like URL names. 
So he goes and he clicks on that Instagram page and he sees that it's his pictures, James's pictures, but it says that he lives in Buffalo and it was it was something else that was different on there. Uh, oh, the jobs was different because James told Devin that he was like a model. He went different places, but on this new Instagram page that he didn't even know he was following, it says that he lives in Buffalo, New York, and that he has a completely different job. Mind you, James told Devin he lives in California as well. So Devin then goes and clicks on that Instagram, like I said, and then he clicks on a Facebook to see that you know, that's the same thing. It says that he's from New York and he has a completely different job. So he said he's never questioned him about this because he doesn't want to run him away. You don't know who the hell he is anyway. Like, come on now, man. The only other thing that they have in common, they have one a friend on social media that they have um, a mutual, you know, friendship or whatever, whatever, right? And so it's just, you know, how you click on social media and it's the, you know what I'm saying, the mutual friend, you know. I've been on this Moscato, y'all forgive me now, but it turns out to be that that mutual friend is a guy named Juan that Devin said he used to work at the airport with when he lived in Michigan. Now he knew that Juan at the time he worked there had a crush on him, but they were never close, never messed around, never in a relationship, never nothing like that. But he just finds this weird, again, that that's a mutual friend that they have, but he really didn't think anything of it. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but there's too many different red flags with this. Way too many red flags with this. And again, for you to be a criminal investigation, you didn't see something wasn't right on the scene. You didn't pull up to the scene like, oh, shit, this is a 9-11 on the radar. Something ain't right with this. All right, y'all. So Rashad and Neve, they do their investigation. First, they start with the phone number. They don't really find nothing on the phone number. They search Juan's um, social media. Don't really find much on Juan's social media either. So they go to the new Instagram account that Devin said he found. Now, when he goes to that Instagram account, he clicks on the Facebook that's linked to that account. And he sees, you know, that the name on the Facebook says J. It doesn't say James. So... They look and they see some of the com the posts that he's put. They see about three months ago, he posted something saying that his account was hacked. He apologizes for his nudes that were leaked all over anywhere. Anybody that knows him knows that he would not do that. So he apologized to everybody for that. Y'all, excuse me, it's a little bit warmer here. And like I said, y'all auntie be down and eating Moscato. That's what I'm drinking right now is this Moscato. This Moscato got me hot though, okay? But he apologized to everybody and was like, you know, y'all know me. Y'all know I wouldn't normally do anything like that. I apologize, right? So on that post, somebody else posted said, hey, somebody's trying to expose you. So a girl commented on that post saying, hey, I'm his cousin. Somebody hacked his account. So Neve and Rashad reach out to that girl. And the girl ends up giving James the number and Neve gets a call back and Neve is like um yeah who is this and he was like well yeah somebody called my cousin and you know apparently y'all reached out to my cousin said that y'all were catfish and she wanted me to reach out to you all so they're like yeah well we're looking for a guy named James or Jay and he was like yes I'm Jay and he was like oh oh you're you're Jay okay well um you know, we're trying to help this young guy named Devin to, you know, meet you or, or see is this, you know, really you? Like, are you, you know, like, first of all, do you know a guy named Devin? But before they do that, Neve is like, can I FaceTime with you right now? So they flip over, do the FaceTime. Lo and behold, it's the guy in the pictures. So Neve is like, well, do you know a guy named Devin that you're friends with on social media? And he's like, no, I don't know who that is. And Neve, of course, is telling him, well, apparently somebody has, you know, stole your, your videos or your nudes or whatever that you had gotten leaked. Somebody has made a completely different account and they've been talking with Devin claiming to be you. And he's like, you know, wow, he didn't know nothing about that, nothing about it. So Neve had, um... What was his name? Oh, and on top of that, his name wasn't Jay. His real name is Yari, but he goes by Jay. So Neve had Yari make a video saying, hey, that is my, you know, picture. Those were my, you know, videos and my nudes. My account was hacked. But no, I have not been talking to Devin. I don't know who you are. And, you know, I apologize. And I was like, dang, that's messed up. 
So they ask him, how does he know Juan? He says that Juan is somebody that he just flirts with, you know, here and there, but you know, he doesn't really know him or anything like that. So he's like, okay, well, you know, thank you for the information that you gave me. You know, of course, if we need you, we'll call you back. So it's just weird that Neve, uh, well, Neve is saying that it's weird that the guy won't video chat and he won't call, but he's willing to meet up with you in person. So, of course, they go back and they let Devin know, you know, everything that they found out. They showed Devin the video. Y'all, he was crying. Well, no, he wasn't crying. I'm like, he was crying on the inside. And you can see bits of it want to come out in him, but he was trying to hold that stuff together because he was on camera. Y'all, he wanted to cry. And when them cameras left, he cried. I know he cried. So, y'all, Neve comes up with the idea how about you text him back and tell him that you end up getting some time off of work and you can come up to Cal um, California and see him. He was like, I bet. So he texted James and told James that James is like, I'm not going, I would love to see you, but I'm not going to be in California this weekend. I'm going to be in Vegas. Can you meet me in Vegas? And so at first, Devin was like, Neve asked Devin, do you know anybody that lives in Vegas? He was like, yeah, this old friend, we used to mess around. He used to live here in Michigan, but now he lives in Vegas. And so he was like, well, go ahead and tell him that we're going to, you know, meet him back. We're going to be up there to see him. So James texts back and was like, okay, cool. I see you when you get here. I text you where to meet you up at. Like eager to meet him. Really weird. You won't talk on the phone, you won't video chat, but nigga, you'll meet me? Do y'all know how weird that is? Like, how do you not see something is wrong with that? And you a criminal investigator? Child. Y'all, so they get to Vegas. James texts him an address to meet him up at a park somewhere. They get to the park. Now, mind you, Neve didn't want to let James know that the whole catfish crew was coming like they was posse enough to come out there, right? So, Devin is like off, you know, in the distance while some of the catfish people are away. And he waiting. He waiting. He waiting. And he waiting. And so, he's thinking, okay, maybe this fool got cold feet. Like, what the, what the hell is going on? Next thing you know, after I don't know how long of waiting, he get a text message from James saying it's a lot going on. I can't meet up with you right now. What? Huh? So Neve reaches out to him and like, look here, this is Neve Catfish. We came here to figure out just what the what is what the what. You know what I'm saying? I'm with Devin. We trying to see what's up. You try to meet him or no, nah, because we tired of playing around with this. And he done already said if you don't call him or you don't come see him, he tired of messing around with your ass. That's not really what he said, though. But that could have been what the hell he said. So the next morning, Neve get a text message saying, I'm so sorry. Tell Devin, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for standing him up. If he'll give me another chance, I'll meet up with him and I'll explain everything to him. So Neve tells him, okay, well, we ain't coming to you. You need to come to where the hell we at. So Neve tell him the hotel where they at. Call me when you get here. I'll come down there and get you. Homeboy James called when he down there in the lobby. Devin is upstairs with Rashad. Rashad trying to give him a pep talk like, dude, just calm down. Whatever happened, happened. You're going to be good. He like, Whew. Whew. he nervous in the mud. Y'all, Neve come in with James. It's the dude that he was messing around with that he said used to live in Michigan that now lives in Vegas. Now, mind you, this is how the hell, this is who he thought Devin was, right? This is, this is Shaquan. This the dude that he was messing around with when he used to live in Michigan, that he still occasionally messes around with now. Y'all wait till y'all hear this shit. So check this out. Shaquan starts the page, cause he says every, tr every time he tries to reach out to Devin, Devin don't ever return his calls or nothing. But when Devin wants some, Devin will reach out to him. So he figured if he started another page, that way he can kind of keep track of Devin and still sort of have some sort of relationship with him to keep it going. But check this out. This shit was smooth. So 
the plan was call him out to come and meet me in Vegas. James will stand him up. And so since he's already in Vegas, he'll hit up Shaquan. And they can get it in. Now, but let me tell you what's even more cold. Neve asked Shaquan, where did you get these pictures of, you know, this man that you've been sending over to Devin? Baby, he says him and Yari actually met before. And him and Yari would exchange nudes and videos. So whatever Yari was sending Shaquan, Shaquan would send that over to Devin. So he out here recycling peen pics and videos. Like, if that ain't some mastermind, I'm sorry, he got to be one of the smartest catfish <laughs> in the game. He had it all set up how he was going to trap this dude. Y'all, he had it all set up. He had it all set up. Brilliant. Rashad was like, you know what? I'll go over there and dap you up if it, if it was wrong as hell. Because that was wrong as hell. But the way Devin was responding to it, Devin, of course, was pissed. Because he was hoodwinked and bamboozled. But at the same time, he was being a real asshole to Shaquan, in my opinion. He was saying, like, Shaquan was like, you know, he, don't, he only calls me, you know, when he wants this, that, and the other. As a matter of fact, he said that Devin... No, Shaquan said Devin hit his ass up just yesterday on Facebook saying what's up. Now, you're supposed to be going to Vegas to meet James. But you're going to hit up Shaquan and say what's up. So technically, the plan worked. That's exactly what you wanted. You wanted him to come to Vegas, get stood up, and hit you up because you know he hot and horny. He ready to lay alone, spread it wide, so he was going to call your ass. And that's exactly what, and the plan worked. Devin was only pissed because he got hoodwinked and he got bamboozled. But he was wrong. He kept saying that he just wasn't attracted to him in that way. He wasn't comfortable being in a relationship. He's just not attracted to him in that way. But like Rashad was saying, you're not attracted to him in that way, but you're attracted enough to have sex with him every time you see him. Now, I don't know when this was filmed, but Shaquan said that they had messed around as recently as August. I don't know his past August. I don't know August last year. I don't know. I'm thinking probably August 2018 because this is 19. We just got out of that. So, now nah, it wasn't this, this 20, last year. So, how in the world? Like, what? So, Devin was mad. He needed some time to himself. He needed to go away. And so, when Neve was talking to Shaquan, he was like, you know, did you expect for him to get mad like this? He's like, I knew he was going to be upset, but not like this, you know, because he's never really made it clear to me that we're not in a relationship. This is the first time he's even said anything like that before. So, the fact that Devin was being an asshole to Shaquan, I didn't like that. I did not like that. Y'all, so the next day they meet up after they had some time to like cool off. They meet up with um with Shaquan and his best friend Tierra. Now the best friend has been knowing everything that's been going on, but the best friend also knows that Devin will ghost his ass whenever he done got what he wanted from him. And he's never really made it clear to Shaquan what kind of relationship it is that he's wanted. And so Shaquan realizes what he did was wrong. He knows that. But like he said, you you never really defined to me what we were. Like, you say you're not attracted to me, but you're attracted enough with me to fool around and whoop de woo and yada yada, but that don't make no sense to me. And then on top of that, Devin is like, how long we been doing this? Like, you you ain't know I wasn't in a relationship. They've been doing this since they were 18. They 23 now. How he not supposed to know? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, like... Devin was just, in my opinion, I felt like Devin was being a real asshole to him. He did not have to be like that to that boy. Because you could clearly see that Shaquan had, he was in love with Devin. He was in love with Devin. And for Devin to sit there and say he don't have no kind of feelings for him, you got some kind of feelings with this boy because you've been messing around with him since he was 18. Like, come on now. Don't do that boy like that. Do not do that boy like that. But in the end, Shaquan did apologize 
and you know they actually hugged it out and agreed to still be friends but without the benefits and so when they did that two month follow up that's exactly what they said was going on both of them said that they're still friends but they're not friends with benefits and y'all i'm sorry i like i said i just do not like the way Devin treated Shaquan. Although Shaquan did get over on Devin, Devin ain't necessarily the victim because he did him wrong too. If I'm wrong, if y'all don't agree with me, let me know. Drop down in the comments and let me know. But y'all, that was pretty much the end of the show right there. Um, if y'all see it, if it's anything that I missed, please drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.